Hi, my name's Katie and I'm going to be teaching you how I teach young children about the life cycle using millworms that go through metamorphosis. So, together in a group with my children, I will talk to them about how they grow and how they used to be babies and how they get bigger. And that's kind of how we'll start the process. And then we'll move on to introducing the insects to them. In a small group, we'll sit together and we'll discuss what a larva is. A larva is a small worm called a mealworm. I will explain to the children that the mealworms do not have teeth and they cannot hurt them. And if they'd like to touch them very gently, they may. If they don't wanna to touch them, they don't have to. I'll let the children observe the worms for a little while. And then after they've collected some thoughts, I'll come back and I'll ask them what they've noticed about them. And we'll make a chart labeled observations of millworms. Then we'll move on and we'll talk about the pupa. The pupa might be more familiar with them as a cocoon. This is what the millworms go into as they transform into a beetle. We'll discuss that with the children for a little while and I'll allow them to make their observations and then we'll also chart what they have learned. Then we'll move on to the beetle. I'll tell the children that the beetle used to be a worm and we'll talk about how it transformed into a beetle. I'll let them make some observations and then we will have a discussion together and we'll chart what they've noticed. Then we'll come back and we'll revisit our chart and I'll also show them this flyer about how in the beginning stages we have an egg and that egg then turns into the larva which is the millworm which then turns into the pupa, pupa or cocoon and then becomes the adult which is the beetle. So that's how I teach young children about the life cycle.